it looks like we've uh, just about reached ground zero. We are within 80 feet of the cache. So uh, hopefully this won't take us too long and then we get to walk all the way back. Okay, we are within uh, about 50 feet of this one. It looks like a truck, and it looks like it's made of bricks. Well, it must be the brick truck. Could be. This is pretty cool. Who wants to get up and get their picture driving the truck? Can't Press the gas. See if you can get that thing moving. What gas? Floor it! Floor it! Oh. Well. The thing is, this thing is like a brick. This thing moves and turns like a brick. Oh wait, that's because it's made of. Uh, I guess so. Bricked. Oh no, somebody bricked it. Hmm. So what you got, Dave? No pen. Oh well, I can help with that. Gotta carry your tools to trade, you know. Well, we have put this one in the books again, folks. I'm not gonna tell you where it was at, but uh, it was somewhere on here. Okay, we found that one, and we are now heading to the next closest cache. Hopefully one with a little bit less traffic, but uh, getting a little walking in here downtown Chattanooga. So come on along for our second one. But Dave seems to be anxious. That's Slate Fox 55. He's kind of new to the game and uh, he's actually got a couple of trackables he's thinking to, about releasing into the world. But uh, we'll see if we can find one big enough to do that. And over here we have Nick. He's kind of camera shy. He's going to get over that soon though. Nick must have been uh, picking flowers or something. He kind of fell behind. Uh, must be a big fire going on here in Chattanooga. There's, I think that's the third or fourth truck we've seen. But, uh, come on along. This appears to be a little bit quieter area, so good. That other one had a lot of, a lot of people distracting us. Okay, we have put another one to rest. This one was evil. We've struggled with this in quite a while. In fact, I had uh, checked the spot where I found it twice earlier, so. Uh, this one is definitely difficult, but uh, worth the wait. So, Slate Fox is going to get it signed for us, and uh, we'll move on to our next one. I guess I need to look that up and see what it is. Seems like we've been here before for our previous cache, but uh, it says we haven't found this one yet, so hopefully, uh, this is a new one for us. We'll see. Boys are having a little trouble keeping up. I think they're going to make it. We've put in almost half a mile already. Well, I've had to give up the job of cameraman to Nick. He, uh, if he doesn't want to be on the camera. I guess he wants to be behind the camera. So that works. It looks like we've uh, just about reached ground zero. We're within 80 feet of the cache. So uh, hopefully this won't take us too long and then we get to walk all the way back.
just to have it. I wonder if it's on the other side of the wall. It's really like this spot right there. It opens. It's good thought. Rocks. It's stuck between a rock and a soft place. So it's going to be under a rock, probably. We had to call it quits on our third cache for the day. The ladies uh, are ready to be picked up from their little get-together. So we are uh, walking the three-quarters of a mile back. And hopefully the truck will still be there because I think our time's probably run out. But uh, hope you all have enjoyed this. Uh, we're trying to add a few more videos to our list. Um, possibly a lot more walking this year and uh, a lot more hiking. Trying to get in shape. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. It's kind of disappointing to have your last one being a, a DNF, but uh, we had to call it for the day. If this is the first time you've watched one of our videos, make sure you click the like button and uh, click the subscribe. And as my daughter likes to keep saying, click the little bell so that you get notified.